Hello, this is Coach Andy. And uh, yeah, let's continue look at Philot's just game. And he, so far, he has got like 5.5 out of 6 in the Europe Team Chess Championship. So it's a great performance, although his opponents are all about like uh, 2600. Yeah, and uh, none of them are 2700, but still it's a good performance. And his rating moved up, and uh, it's an already number three, very close to maybe become number two next week. Yeah, we don't know. Let's look, see. Okay, so this game is round three. And Victor Eldos versus Philozia. Philozia is black. Now let's check the game. So, okay, let's come over. E4, C6, the color come, then knight jump, and uh, instead of D4, yeah, it's e, e4, D4 is the normal one, perfect center, but here he just let black just black still push okay don't care now knight jump and uh, we continue move the beef out create the ping he push pawn here it's very yeah black is very very like firmly decided to just exchange that bishop away and uh, basically this bishop if we push e6 first then bishop will become locked up it's like french bishop so now you cannot go to here also because the pawn is here so the only place is here but right now he kick you so you have to give it up there are no not much choice okay going backwards it's too early to say like white destroy his pawn structure so so here he just decide let's take get rid of that black take uh, white take push pawn set up a kind of like a slav formation okay semi slav okay the triangle so it's a strong triangle. Yeah, that's fine. Now it's coming back to e4, d4. Okay, but the difference between this opening now and the French is we don't have bad bishop anymore. It's gone. Okay, so that's uh, some difference. Okay, now knight jump, pawn take, and uh, take the back. Okay, so that's uh, kind of normal. We have the C file open. Now bishop out, knight jump, uh, knight go back, protect pawn. Yeah, this pawn is hanging right now. So we have to go back, protect the pawn. And uh, here we push pawn. Okay, don't want the bishop come over, ping the knight. Maybe that's the move. Okay, so pawn push. Move the bishop out, move the bishop back, so far it's fine. And uh, here, after this move, basically black decide to take over c-file, right? We take this way, so we want to use c-file. White has pawn, black doesn't have pawn, semi open c-file. And we don't want to open this side. So, look come over c-file. Now this basically forced white to castle that side. And yeah, no reason castle the queen side anymore. G4, he pushed pawn right away, tried to hitting the knight. Okay. Now starting from here actually it's very interesting. Um Philot just start making the menu castle. Basically he wants the king going over to there. Okay, so if we do like, uh, instead of move the rook, he move the queen up, do a long castle, then shift the king in, move the rook over, that takes four moves. Now if you do the long castle this way, one, two, three, it's three moves, maybe save a move. Okay, it's, uh, it's an interesting move, okay, so basically, yeah. Um, castle to king side is not, not good, definitely. Queen is already looking. Queen is already looking here, the bishop is looking here, this bishop also looking here, the pawn may push up, this pawn may push up, rook may follow, the knight may jump over or jump here, follow, and uh, now this he may stay king in the middle, maybe this rook also follow. That's 
totally bad. If you castle king side, you basically castle into fire. Okay, so that's not good. So that's why he start loading the king, moving out. Pump push and kick our knight away. Of course, we cannot move the knight. We have to take, no choice. Take, take, so that's fine. Now we continue, move the king over. As soon as we king settle down, our rook can attack. He push pawn. Okay, make some threats to us. Uh, sorry, maybe why skip to that? I'm not sure that move coming up. So, okay, so hold on. So after king move, he do the. He actually also do the long castle. It's interesting. I think White's idea. Of course, White's already opened this side. It's not easy for him to castle that side anymore. And um, yeah, while he's attacking, so he castles this side. Basically, I think the reason maybe he think black will not push those pawn up try to attack him but in this game actually black still attack let's see a few move more okay can go back rook go to g file that's fine now pawn push start try to push pawn again okay so he had to stop us okay this is uh, yes this is kind of, i believe this is surprise okay so Almost nobody will push the king. Yeah, already hide the king over there, then push the pawn up. Maybe usually we just push the pawn up right away instead of hiding the king so many times, right? But at that time, the king is not, black, white king is not coming over yet. If you push the pawn up early, he king will stay in the middle. Okay, so that's uh, that's something different. Now his king is over. So we start push pawn. And um, here, Black has one reason, at least it's good for him, is we have more peace on this side. White only have one piece. Okay, so more peace means more attack, that's true. So, <coughs> so pawn b, b5, a3, okay, now a5, push pawn. Yes, this is normal. If you push on one pawn, then push second pawn. It's always like that. Now he move the queen over, try to attack the pawn. Then we move the queen over, protect the pawn. And uh, now he take this, that's fine. We will take the back. And uh, he come over attacking pawn. I think we lift the rook or we move the queen back. Protect the pawn, that's it. Okay, we settle down. Double the rook. But what can you attack, right? Double the rook. You cannot go here, you lose the rook. You cannot take this pawn, it's nothing. Okay, so this may be white move a little bit too slow on this side, okay. And um, yeah, he should move quicker, okay. Try to settle more defending on this side, okay. Now we start push, b4. Okay, so not much choice. Uh, if you take, because you don't want to open this file. If you take, he take, you take, then it's a problem, right? B5 open now after take, this bishop may down. Okay. So he push pawn. Don't want to take you. And also don't want you to take him. And uh, now what we do, we move bishop back. So basically we will allow the bishop. We move bishop back. Try to go here, check. Now he come over. It's protected by the by three, two piece, okay. But we still rely to here. X-ray protection. So our bishop is safe. So do the check. Now here to move king. Now <laughs> it's uh, kind of scary. Oh no, you cannot move. Yeah, it's kind of like a scary move to the B file. Okay, so the queen is hitting here right away. So he move away that way. Now we cutting off the queen. Then so he had to exchange the rook. Take, take. That's fine. Okay, so we have peace on this side, we have peace on this side, it's, uh, it's balanced. And the pawn is here, we weaken in one pawn, okay, and uh, let's continue, lift the rook. Yeah, we don't have mate, mating attack right away, right now, it's, uh, it's more like uh, maneuver now, we'll move the rook back after we get rid of that rook. Uh, cannot come down anymore, okay, not here, not here, not here. So he moved the queen away, king away. So basically, yeah, after he castle, he just run back. Now we take the pawn. He take. We move the knight back. Um, 
not sure where this knight want to go, but knight back, we expose the rook at least. Move the king away. So yes, yeah, still try to learn the king. Now move the king over to the side. Um, basically, it's stopping this queen come over. Don't want this happen. And uh, maybe we also exchange with him. Look, g one going back. So maybe he wants to move the king over here. Try to move the rook over, attacking. We want to exchange the queen. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, so basically, yeah. So he take, we take. That's fine. Now the queen, the queen gone. No more danger. Now at this position, yeah, we should look at the position. And um, white has this open file, but not much attack you can do, right? And this bishop which is very powerful. Control this square so the knight cannot come here. The knight may be able to come that place. That's maybe fine. Okay, but that's it. Now this knight is kind of um restricted because pawn pawn square now bishop control and this square. The rook has not many plays. Cannot go here. All the way controlled. Cannot go here either. Okay, so now this bishop is white bishop, white square bishop. It's blocked by the pawn here and pawn here. Okay, and this is dark square pawn. Now the knight cannot move. Also another reason. This is control that pawn. Okay, so now this may come over to get that pawn. And uh, maybe not, right? So after maybe after we jump knight here, then go over because we can block. So it's not much. Yeah, white. I think white has much. Uh, sorry, black has much better position and um, more flexible to move. The knight cannot move. The rook cannot move. The bishop very little scope here and here. That's it. Or maybe can come here also. Okay, this rook can go this one or can go here, attacking this way. And go here, right? And the knight definitely can block. Now let's see. Continue. Big lot check. We move the king back. We go here. Okay, that's what I said. Okay, he wants to go here. Now I think I want this pawn maybe. Uh, I need to move that knight first. Knight. Ah, uh, that's nice move. It's interesting one. Basically, I want a lot knight here, here, here. Okay, so knight go back to g8. Look g3, knight f, uh, knight f6. Now definitely will jump there. Look come over. Knight e4. Yeah, let's go there first. Okay, put it there. Now we can maybe move the bishop here. Try to get that pawn. Or we can grab. Yeah, uh, maybe not right away. Because there's a push, we have to be a little bit careful. He moved the rook back. Let us grab, huh? I think maybe this is blunder. Uh, I'm not sure. The engine didn't come back. I don't. Let me see. My engine actually stopped. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go. Uh, go back. Take, take, take. There are no ping. Okay, you cannot go to c1 ping me. You will lose the rook. Now move bishop down to attack our pawn. We come back protected. I don't want to lose the pawn. Okay, now this position, um, we upper pawn. Not much because that upper pawn, maybe it's this one, right? It's not extra pawn, but our pawn is a little bit better at least. Okay, yeah, bishop can attack us, but. He can start. He needs to start from some place. Now, black pawn is a little bit scary. Okay, so so this pawn, this pawn, this pawn is dark square. That's so especially weak. This pawn and this pawn. Okay, so now let's see. Move the pawn up. Now actually, black right now starting. Lot the king back. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so this side because this side doesn't have too much. So he tried to go to that side. Check, coming back. Move the pawn down. Coming back. 
attacking this pawn come up and we take I don't think we want to take right away because after pawn push down here it's dangerous okay so let's move the king over first okay, to check we go up he move back now we move the king over again so basically we already moved it now he moved the king up we come over try to get the pawn with the king he could try to get this pawn can we stop it I don't think so so let's grab the pawn let him grab the pawn okay now we will go forward try to get this pawn come down we go forward get this pawn uh, I don't think he can stop us either his king cannot come over so this pawn is already dead but when do we want to take it that's the question right so he wants exchange we say no I don't want exchange and I don't want your pawn push down I come over here now he wants he go back this is a question mark so basically losing the game now it's another so we actually you can see our king moving from here to here to here to here to here to here take the pawn down down going there right it's starting from here actually going this way okay so the king already made how many move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen move okay so yeah thirteen move that means one fourth of the move is the king move now the rook coming back and try to protect the pawn it's a um, little bit maybe he should try to push pawns do something at least okay try to go here and go down yeah get this pawn maybe so now rook go back it's a uh, we say it's passive okay so now after the king moved he start loading the bishop bishop go here rook come over we go back now stop the totally stop the pawn. Rook come back. We go a5, and where he wants lot to, here. He wants that pawn. Come up. Uh, we go there. Yeah. Now he attack our rook. We come over. And the uh, next move is kind of like. Um, not sure okay I think white already maybe crashed in his mind okay so this is totally weird move now we just take the pawn it's a free pawn why not let's take the pawn and he did something try to discover but this of course is not working and um, it's much easier yeah so this if you take this pawn of course I can if you take the rook I can take this but here he just do a check done now the rook will be dead and uh, we will up a rook plus some pounds that's totally win it's a uh, it's resignable now okay so the whole game is very very interesting I would like you to focus on the king move yeah you can see how many king move he did oh here let's see how many king move oh. Okay, so that's the first round. He tried to manual castle. Then this is the second round. He tried to grab the pawn and come over here, conquer this pawn. Okay, so and also the bishop move is also interesting. I didn't track it. Um, I think it's just go there, check. Yeah, coming back, then come to here, here. Maybe let me check, coming back go here here uh, not this here and here and here yeah it's a little bit different uh, no question why we not go there right away yeah I'm not really sure why not go there right away uh, maybe because I don't want to pound push right so if I go here I stopped pound push you, you anytime you push I can take okay Okay, so I hope you enjoy the game. I like it. It's a not fresh tactic. This time, yeah, I don't see any big tactic. Okay, so we have a couple interesting moves like the king maneuver, 
okay move the king around like this pawn push attack it's kind of like counterintuitive okay usually you move the king over you don't want to push the pawn here okay so the b5 move the, where is it uh, maybe it's too far back this move right so usually we don't do that okay and um, yeah all this you can see a uh, flaws here right now is very mature against this kind this 2600 or now okay it's very easy it looks like for him okay <laughs> not for us but let's hope yeah he can cross over to number two thank you and uh, I see you later